Maturity by Lily Ganakos. It was more than a month since they were at Masalis. The Armenian camp looked like a small village. The people settled down in any way they could. Richest in tents, the others in the ruined sheds, but majority of the refugees, having found nothing better, were sheltered under carpets held up at the four corners by sticks. They thought themselves lucky if they could find a sheet to hang up at the sides and wall them from peering eyes. Then they felt almost at home. The men went to any kind of work, whatever it may be, so their children have something to eat. Of all of them, Mikali alone could do nothing. He ate only a piece of bread. And in the refugee camp, he felt so lonely. His newborn brother, who was instantly crying for milk, was on his back. Their mother died immediately after his brother's birth. He requested many women in the camp, but no one was ready to give him milk. The crying of his brother disturbed all in the camp and they chased him away. Then he went to another camp in search of a nursing mother with a lot of hope. On the way, many women asked him what he wanted, but he didn't give any answer to them and walked towards the place where he heard a cry of an infant baby. He went there and there was a woman who asked about the baby. He thought she would have pity on his brother to give him some milk. His brother's head was big and body was too thin. His thumb was swollen. On seeing him, she was scared and chased him away. He was too sad. That time, a Chinaman came and asked him the problem and he was scared of him. But he showed sympathy to Mikali and that was enough to make him happy. He went with the Chinaman. On the way, he was tired and fell down. That time, Chinaman supported him and he took the baby on Mikali's back. They walked together. Mikali was too confused. The Chinaman led him to a sort of wooden cabin surrounded by a very small garden. He stopped before the door and clapped his hands twice. Chinaman's wife came and opened the door with a smile and she welcomed Mikali to their home. The house was too neat but very poor looking. He saw a wicker cradle in a corner. She showed her baby to him. It was a chubby baby who slept peacefully covered with a gold brocade cloth like a little king. Chinaman called his wife and asked her to sit on a straw mat. Without a word, he sat down Mikali's brother on her lap. The woman leaned over with astonishment and drew back the covering in which his brother was wrapped. It appeared to her in all his skeletonic horror. She gave a cry, a cry of immense pity, then pressed the babe to her heart, giving it the breast. Then with a gesture of modesty, she brought forward a flap of her robe over the milk swollen breast and his infant brother was suckling them.